Some lessons are better lived than learned. Mm -hmm. Pain is the greatest motivator. Correct. And experience is the greatest teacher. The hardest thing is can you come out here from nothing and be greater than what you was before legitimately? Like legitimately, can you legitimately be the greatest version of yourself? Mm -hmm. And it's so easy to revert back to old habits. I just like to be around peace. And if you've went through and experienced as much pain as I have, mm -hmm. I've been through a tremendous amounts of pain, physically, mm -hmm. mentally, spiritually. I've been through hell. In order to appreciate and understand great peace, you have to have went through and experienced great pain. And if my heart not telling me do it, then I'm not gonna do it. I believe that the key to happiness is self-accountability. Every day that I woke up with breath in my body was the opportunity to change my life because it starts inside. It doesn't start outside. Energy is my first language. It's gonna always be there. And the times that I didn't adhere to what my heart chakra, or my inside, so to say, was telling me, people say your gut feeling, the times that I didn't adhere to those type of things, I always suffered the consequences. And through that suffering, that was a lesson. Mm -hmm. And the lesson learned was I need to pay more attention to me. Mm -hmm. Pay more attention to, to the energy. I'm on a journey now of learning to love the stranger that was once myself. Because everything I did was detrimental to me. So I hated myself. I didn't love myself. Even the people I allowed myself to be around. You ever had a conversation with somebody and it just drained all the life out of you? You wasn't protecting your energy. Protecting your energy is not a crime. If I don't like you, I'm going to stay away from you. I put positive energy into my body because the world beat us up all day. Mm -hmm. We got to give us our ourselves some positive reinforcement. Like heartbreak is very, very real. And like, if you a man, my, I'm really most speaking of men. Ain't nothing wrong with crying. That is how we heal. That is how we release. When people start loving themselves, the world changes. Cause I see me and you. Mm -hmm. You see yourself and me. Mm -hmm. We see ourselves in each other. Mm -hmm. Because we love ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're not just loving the people in our household. Right. So that's what makes it beautiful. I want to see what can I gain from this situation as opposed to letting my ego lead. Like, I, I just had to learn how to kill my ego because I don't never want my ego to go before me. Right. I want to operate out of love. Life is a contact sport. And I use that, I associate that same willpower with what I do now. My hustle is relentless. I'm not gonna stop. I took a lot of losses to get where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I took a lot of losses. And I watched the movie and he said, why do we fall, Bruce? So we can learn to pick ourselves back up. I respect the heart, I respect the integrity, I respect the morals and the principles of an individual. What is success? What is your measure of success? My measure of success is me being able to do whatever I want to whenever I want to. Freedom is not you being free. Freedom is you being free in your mind and your heart and your spirit, which is really a privilege mm -hmm. for you to be free. Mm -hmm. Being your authentic self is beautiful. Right. And that's the greatest freedom that I learned. And I learned that comparison was the killer of all joy. Because mm -hmm. I'm comparing my life to other people's high life films. Or... The elixir of life, it does start with meditation. You I ever went to sleep and woke up tired? The mind was never quiet. The mind never received true rest. And I ain't trying to sound like no philosopher, no prophet or nothing, but I'm not happy, but I am at peace right now. I'm talking about pure peace. A lot of people can't be alone with themselves. Mm -hmm. They can't. Right. I can be alone with myself. Mm -hmm. I don't need to talk to nobody or nothing. I can talk to myself and figure it out. A lot of people don't want to face themselves. Right. And that's an act of valor. That's commendable mm -hmm. because through isolation is where we reach elevation. Mm -hmm. That's when most of my epiphanies happen when I'm alone. So I commend you on that. Like, that's beautiful. That's where my ideas come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In my solitude when right. I'm working out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I sure. talk to myself out loud. Yeah. I know it's people right. be like, I used to be like, man, I know I'm weird. But then I read that all geniuses talk to themselves. Like, I ask myself questions. I talk to myself. Yeah. When we get outside of our spiritual belief system and we adopt the ways of others mm -hmm. we suffer the same demise as those people that we adopt their ways whoever they are I think being a skeptic is a beautiful thing mm -hmm. because being a skeptic makes you investigate 
it makes you ask why. And when you ask why, that's how you get the truth. You have to ask why. So being a skeptic is not a bad thing. You know, like I say, the knowledge is power. You and did. great knowledge in the hands of a fool would be self-destruction. And I just, I'm not about to give all that away. With great wisdom comes great grief. The wisdom was worth more than gold and fine silver. Right. Because by wisdom, all things could be obtained. I don't know about anyone else, but the worst thing a man could be is a coward to his own self. And I'm just big on respect. That's why I give so much respect. And I don't place myself in environments where it could be challenged. I love you, but I love me more. I'm on my mission. I know my mission now. And I fell in love with that mission. When a man meets his mission, he and his mission become one. Mm -hmm. I've just found a way to deal with depression right. in a way that makes me happy. Right. As far as finding my gratitude. When you always living to please others, you're going to always be in a constant state of depression because mm -hmm. you're never doing nothing for you. When you start doing things for you mm -hmm. to make you happy, then you can make somebody else happy because you're happy. I believe that you either learn fast or you die young. You know, in a room full of clowns, man, I can't be part of the circus, man. When you entertain a clown, you become part of the circus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a race. Right. It's not a destination, it's a journey. It's your life. It's lifestyle. about feeling good. I always knew who I was. I always knew what I was. And if I did anything, I took full responsibility for what I did, no matter whether it was good or bad. I, I took full responsibility for it. And I understand that this is what I signed up for. I enlisted for this. I always knew what I was mm -hmm. and who I was. And I know what my job is is and I always ran from it. Mm -hmm. I am now fulfilling my purpose now. It's the things that you don't want to do that be the best things for you. The days I don't want to go to the gym, them, that's the days I have my best workout. I wish they had a magic button. Mm -hmm. If you don't work, you don't eat. That's if real. you don't grind, you don't shine. Rudyard Kipling said, to thine own self be true. And that is the greatest reality. So if you skateboard or you ride BMX bikes or dirt bikes or Whatever you into, that is the real you. If you're not afraid to be who you are, that is the real you. You are, you are only a victim of the energy that you project. I prepare at night to have a great morning. Mm -hmm. I don't just get up and freestyle. Right. Like at nighttime, I already know what I'm probably gonna wear in the morning. Some workout clothes. I'm gonna take me a cold shower. I'm gonna drink me some hot water, key limes. I'm gonna pray, do my stretches. I go to the gym, I do my core, do my cardio, full body, everything. And it just make my day just beautiful. Whatever your process is, sometimes I listen to the, the nature sounds of the rain. Right. That's recovery also for the body. I do that, and in the morning, I never get on my phone. I go straight and get the hard part. Mm -hmm. I do my workout first, my therapy. Mm -hmm. I do things that's gonna give me energy. I get that done first, right. then I start my day.